Hello and welcome to Amerigo's Chicago North Shore Campus. Today we will be touring Carmel Catholic High School. This is an excellent school that has received the prestigious Blue Ribbon School of Excellence Award four times. We are now inside the halls of Carmel Catholic. Today we will be receiving a tour from Carmel's teachers who will be taking us all around campus to see the highlights of a day at the school. Welcome to Carmel Catholic High School. My name is Nate Brill. I'm the Associate Admissions Director here at Carmel. Um, right now you're standing in the center of our building and if you look down each direction you'll see different academic hallways that we are going to walk you through this morning. Down our central hallway here you have our information commons otherwise known as the library um, along with our main offices um, for our principals and deans, um, attendance office, our counselors are on the right hand side. To our left your right, we have our social studies hallway. And then to your left, that will take you down to our cafeteria and to our auditorium, which we will show you in a few moments. Where most other high school libraries are open spaces, Carmel's library is unique because it has more partitions and separate rooms. This gives students the advantage to have more private space to study, meet in small groups, or receive tutoring. We are now going to visit the school's media center, where they produce radio pieces and television shows. Uh, we do a live news show on Fridays. Uh -huh. um, we do podcasts. We do. Uh, we make commercials. I'm actually editing one right now for the like, with the kids. You can also cross through the library this way. Let's see where we're going to next. And our next place we're visiting is the school's cafeteria. Here is Carmel's lunch menu. Every day there are different options for students and students can pick out what they would like to eat in the line. At Carmel, students have access to a wide variety of healthy, nutritious food options. As you can see, students have a lot of different choices, from hot prepared meals to salads and much more. Here we are in some of our engineering classes. Besides getting engineering skills in aero, uh, space engineering, uh, civil engineering, there's several life lessons that you can use in engineering class. So for example, one of our assignments is to do on CAD, a computer automated design, is to develop a nine hole golf course. And typically students will begin to work and they're having fun designing their nine hole, go nine hole golf courses. And then three days before the due date, the teacher may come to them and say, change of plans. Instead of doing a nine hole golf course, you are now required to do an 18 hole golf course, but the due date is the same. So as you can imagine, all of the students are going, what, this isn't fair. But what the teacher is trying to show is that this is real life, that many times in real life, due dates will stay the same, the workload changes, and we need to teach our kids to be flexible and to get down and get a project done and do what needs to be done. Another example as a project to do is they will be handed three different cups filled with marbles. One cup will have metal marbles in it, another cup will have glass marbles in it, 
and the third couple will have wooden multiples. And we'll say, go, develop a machine that will separate these three types of marbles if they were all dumped in the same bin. Students will begin to do a variety, and build a variety of different machines, and they will fail, sometimes it works, and what we want to teach them is the process of failing is part of the learning process. That the, hopefully the more you fail, the closer you are to getting a solution. That it is more important to be resilient um, and to get up and try again and try again until you find the solution. The school bell just rang, which means it's time for students to head to their next class. Let's take a look at one of Carmel's STEM classrooms. Students haven't arrived yet, but we can see that the teachers are already here. Teachers spend most of their time in the classroom, so students can come and ask for help whenever they need it. So this is our engineering classroom. We teach aerospace engineering in here, introduction engineering, and principles of engineering in here. Uh, some of the projects we've done in here, we use the uh, spokes and motors, and actually they use some of the propellers to build a windmill, and we blew it right down here, and then they measured how much power was coming from the windmill and amps, how much energy they were getting in amps. Uh, some of the projects you can see over here are the principles of engineering class where they're building robots. In this case, they're building cars. They can follow the red line around on the floor. They also built the cars to go through a maze. There's wood on the floor that they had to track through the maze, things like that. We do prototyping with our 3D printer. We do projects with our laser cutter. And uh, yeah, we're always trying something new on this class. One of the most interesting things about Carmel Catholic is that their robotics team is the world champion. We are now in the robotics classroom, so let's take a look at what students have created as they hold on to their title as world champs. our business incubator program. It is like the television show Shark Tank where students think of a product, an app, or a service that they can improve upon. So for example, one of our uh, group decided they didn't like a mosquito repellent, the way it smelled or felt on their skin. So they develop, developed a dryer sheet with the repellent built into it that was heat activated when they threw it in the dryer so their clothes actually would repel the uh, mosquitoes and they called themselves Vito the Mosquito. There was also another group this year who was called Stay on Sheets. Their original target market was the elderly, um, elderly people who would have trouble putting on the fitted sheet of their mattresses, but they also found the market of college students because each college bed, their mattress would be not exactly, they weren't standardized in size, so they would take a piece of material, they drew a, or sewed a drawstring around the material, and then they would throw it on top of the mattress and draw the drawstring, and that would become their fitted sheet, and they were called stay on sheets. At the end of the semester, they actually pitched this product to real live investors for funding so those students could get a patent in their name, they could create a LLC in their name, a limited liability company. So the sky is the limit with these class. If they get funding, they come back as seniors and actually uh, work on making prototypes. The Business Incubator Program is a unique, incredible opportunity for students. As you can see on this wall, there are many business plans that students have developed that have actually been implemented and turned into real businesses. So at Carmel, we approach science a little bit differently. In a typical classroom on science in America, the course sequence would be uh, biology, chemistry, and then physics. We're here at Carmel, we're a physics first school, which means all of our freshmen take physics. Why? Because physics is based in algebra. What math class are you taking freshman year? Is usually algebra. So it's co-curricular. So the math they're learning in their math class is applied and used in their science class as well. So that's why your math uh, placement will also drive your placement in physics. And then you go from physics to chemistry and then biology as a junior. 
the biology that you have as a junior here at Carmel, since it's three years later, is a much more in-depth biology. Um, it's almost like a chemical biology class. When Amerigo students arrive in the United States, they need to take ARC classes. These ARC classes at all of our schools are taught by Amerigo teachers, who also visit the students in their residence to give them additional one-on-one -on -one attention and tutoring. We've now arrived in the incredible Carmel Fine Arts Center. Let's take a look at this wonderful program. We are here in the arts hallway, and you can see there are many pieces of work on the walls that have been created by students. Here we can see the class of 2018's dance company whose photos were taken by a student in the photography class. Doesn't this look wonderful? So there are many different fine arts classes you can take at Carmel. And as you can see, here's a list of all the different classes and then how, if they are open to freshmen, sophomore, junior, or seniors. One of our visual arts classroom. One thing that's unique about this classroom is you will have three separate classes going on in the same room at the same time. For example, in this section, you may have an introduction to art students next to students that are in the mid-level art class, followed by students that are in advanced placement or college level art class. So therefore, the students that are at the introductory level are actually inspired for, with more in-depth work that the students are doing at the college level. Carmel Catholic also offers students design courses where they can create graphic designs on computers. Here we see their design lab. We continue to see the incredible works of art produced by these talented students in their art classes. Here in this display case, we see ceramic works made by the students. Next up, we're going to check out a pottery class. Organize these guys up here, your elements and principles. Those are the specific commands that you need to acquire for the specific media that you're using. Here we are in Carmel Catholic's theater. As you can see, this is a beautiful space. And backstage is the production room, where students prepare for the various plays the school is putting on. We build set projects, that's our shop, where we use power tools. We build set pieces for three shows that we perform, the students perform. We also teach drama class, acting classes, uh, woodworking, uh, how to use power tools. We use the stage as well as our classroom where we actually teach. And then this whole area is dressing rooms, um, a green room for holding space, and we have a costume room. We have all kinds of rooms around connected opportunities. What I really like of one of the offerings is a dance leadership class. This is an honors level class where students actually become leaders. They work with the youth and they do outreach programs um, and they just recently finished up a frozen party for little girls where they taught them how to dance as well. Let's peek in on the dance class going on. We are now on the other side of the Fine Arts Center. We can see on these walls that there are more works of art and awards earned by the students. For students who are interested in the fine arts, there are many different courses for them to choose from, ranging from drawing and painting, to mixed media, to ceramics, graphic design, photography, and more. These courses are also offered at advanced levels.
We are now in one of the school's language courses, which has the newest design of desks and chairs. Starting next year, all the classrooms in the school will switch to this new setup, which gives students flexibility when working in groups in the classroom. Now we are in the University Preparation Center. This room is where students go to receive university guidance, to meet with their guidance counselors as they prepare for applications, and to meet with admissions representatives from some of the top universities in the country. We are now at the Amerigo Chicago North Shore residence. As you can see, this is a beautiful, quiet building that is close to the school. There are many security features throughout, including these special keys that only residents have to enter the building. We are now in the student common room. This is where students gather together to have meetings, to have study hours, and to eat their meals together. Now, let's hear from Stacy Gottlieb, the Director of Campus Operations. This is our common unit. This is where the students come for studying and for our meals and activities that we have here as well. Our campus has been very lucky. We actually won a bunch of awards, as you can see. Um, we had an award for making the students feel safe um, for our extracurricular activities, what we just talked about. Um, our students also do a lot of volunteering and they're very involved with the school and our clubs as well. So they do, do um, work with them also on the weekends. Now let's visit one of the student apartments. As you can see, there are many security features, including another special key that only has access to this unit. This is a beautiful modern apartment there's a kitchen that students can use. And here is the common room where students can hang out, study, and socialize. Let's take a look inside these student bedrooms. There are typically two bedrooms to an apartment, and each student shares a bedroom with another Amerigo student of the same gender. Over here is a spacious walk-in closet for students to use. Each bedroom has its own bathroom that is shared by both students in the bedroom. Stacy will tell us a little bit more about some of the additional safety features here at the Amerigo residence. Safety is our top priority here. Um, we have several features that we use here at Amerigo. Um, one in each apartment, we have a camera. Uh, all of our campus coordinators have an app on their phone that is linked to the cameras in the apartment. So we can look on at any time to see what is going on in the rooms and go back in time as well to monitor that. Uh, another feature that we use is Life360, which is an app that all of the students have installed on their phone. Um, it tracks their movement so we can see where they are um, at all times. Um, and the third feature that we use is boardingware. Um, boarding where is where the students request to do any type of activity. So if they want to go to the mall or they want to go to the gym at our apartment complex and work out, they would request in boarding where um, to go there and then the campus coordinators would give them permission or deny them permission to do that activity. Thank you for joining us on this virtual tour of Amerigo Chicago North Shore and Carmel Catholic High School.